Hello friends! I'm Karina Chen and I want to welcome you today to my video. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with the online exclusive Simply Sparkling Stamp Set and Dies. This is a really fun set that is perfect for anybody and it's perfect for all ages. So there's a few little tricky bits with the dies that I wanted to share today and then I'm going to show you how to make a triangular fancy fold card at the same time. But before I start, I always like to let you know about upcoming classes and specials. So if you're watching the replay um, and you're on my newsletter list, I'll tell you where to zip ahead to so you don't have to listen to all this part. If you're one of my customers, you probably love to know what's coming up. So that's why I do my videos like this. And I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So let me just go down here for a second because we had such a fun, or I had such a fun weekend this weekend. Stampin' Up! put on what they call On Stage at Home. So I had a few friends over and they came and stamped with me and we watched the presentations and we did a shoebox swap. So we each had to design a card and then we cut the pieces so that our friends could make them too. And this was one that was done. Fluffiest Friends. Isn't this cute? So cute. I love this. And that was done by Karen and then this was my other friend look at this cute I didn't put it together yet because I wanted to have the template but this is a gift card holder using uh, the Berry Christmas suite and then this was my one of my shoebox swaps using the brand new is it honeybee home suite that's coming out I can't remember the name of it and then I designed another one too uh, for my friend Megan, because Megan is brand new. She's uh, got the starter kit less than a month ago, and she's never made cards before. But I have to say, she's a good stamper now. I can't believe all the great cards she's making. So we made this using the Simply Sparkling stamp set. And then I thought this would be a great class. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with it. I'll show you how we created this fun little image. It's actually a technique. And I want to share a special with you today as well. And then since we're on the top of, topic of on stage, this was one of the make and takes. Now I changed the design a little bit because I cut my paper the wrong way, but super cute. This Honeybee Home stamp set will be available December 5th, I believe, if you have a demonstrator number or in January if you are a customer. And it's actually called, oh, it's called Be Mine. I'm calling it the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. The Be Mine Sweet Collection. It's so adorable. I might have to do this Valentine's class in December, too, now that I think of it. I don't know. There's not enough time for all the fun classes I want to run. And then this was the other make and take. Now, it was totally different. I changed the shapes up. I think my Easy Stamping 1, 2, 3 is actually helping me because I'm getting a little creative now with pieces. It was supposed to all line up this way. But I didn't like that, so I changed it this way. And I put a little winky bee. Like, seriously, how cute is this set? And I think I have showed this on other videos before. Um, I had to order as much paper as I could get my hands on. I just love it so much. Um, I love the ribbon. Ta-da! And I love the little embellishments are super cute. And of course the stamp set with the little, all the different little faces make me really happy. It's like the Taco Fiesta stamp set. Da -da, be my Valentine. And it has a B. Right, but look at the little faces. Like how cute is this? Oh, super cute. And then also in the suite it has these fun little boxes that I haven't really done anything yet with. But it's got these fun little boxes that fold together. And uh, they'd be perfect for Valentine's Day and they're food safe. And you get 10 in a package. So like I said, this is all coming out in the brand new upcoming catalog. So I'm just showing you a sneak peek. If you can't wait, your, wait to get your hands on it, you can get the starter kit. But there is a special starting in January. That's amazing. I won't go into that right now. Anyway, what do you think about the cards from on stage and our shoebox swap? I'll just see if anyone's here. Kathy's here. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Gail. How are you? Thanks for joining me today. Margaret Ann and Sandra, thanks for watching me. Yeah, the bee is very cute, isn't it? It's so cute. I absolutely love it. The cuteness is just too much to handle. 
Okay, so those are the cards I wanted to share quickly, although we should keep that one out. I'm going to ask you a question about that in a second. And then for upcoming classes, I do have next, I think it's Wednesday, November 27th is, oh no, November 22nd is the Harry Potter card class. And I'm actually cutting these right away. So if you want to get in on it, let me know. Um, it was basically free when you bought the owl stamp set and dies for me, or I think it's $35. We're going to make this one. We're going to make one with the sorting hat. See, you've got a grumpy face, and it's going to be a bookmark card. Because, you know, you got to give a book when you give this class, right? Or give a card away. And then we're going to make this card. And then we're going to make an easy, I don't know what this is called, gatefold card. And then there should be five. Yes, and then this one as well. So those are the cards that we're making. On November 22nd, I can ship anywhere in Canada. It's going to be on Zoom, so it will be recorded. And if you can't get your kit in time, well, you just watch the replay and put your cards together. But yes, you have to have the stamp set and the dies to make these cards. Okay, the next one I wanted to share was I'm working on Translucent Florals, which is a virtual card class on November 27th. I send everyone the pieces. You get a PDF tutorial and a technique card sheet this is the fancy fold it's a block card it's not fun and all the pieces are cut for you so that's super fun and then it's recorded and you can just go back and watch the recording now i have to put some embellishments on here yet i like to design my cards first and then use the embellishments after so that it matches what makes it a really great set and then I have a bags and tags class on December 2nd. So if you've signed up for bags and tags, let me know what paper you want to use. Because I'm designing that right now. I'm in the middle of it. And then Simply Sparkling class will be on December 17th. So super fun. And today I just have to share one more thing. It is a huge sale from the 14th to the 16th. Stampin' Up! is celebrating its 35th year in business. And so they come out with the seasonal sale. This is how it works. So you get 15% off any ribbon in the annual catalog. Awesome. Personally, I'd probably pick up the in color jute twine or the, I like the in color baker's twine pack a lot. And then you have 15% off ink. So if you watched any of my Easy Stamping 1, 2, 3 videos, I always share the colors. There are 50 colors of ink. The only discount you can't get is that some of these, you can buy a color collection in a package of 10. So it's already discounted 10% off. So you can't get, you can't get 15% off the 10%. So you have to buy them individually right now. And then even Memento Black um, ink pad is on sale, 15% off. So there are some really good deals. I didn't check about a Versamark pad. Ooh, I already placed a big order. I don't want to do another one, but I might need a new Versamark pad. And then ink refills would fall in into this category as well. So you can make sure you get your ink refills as well. And then look at all the stamping blends. They're all 15% off, but it's while supplies last. So some stuff could be sold out already. And then you get 20% off on paper. So I was excited. I ordered 10 packs of basic white. I forgot to order black. How could I forget to order black? I don't know. It was a lot. And then envelopes are also on sale at 20% off. So I ordered 10 packs of envelopes. I go through a lot of envelopes. Um, specialty paper is on special. Like It's such a great sale, you guys. Just go to my online store. You can go to karinachin.stampinup.net. This is the hostess code right now. I'll pull it up just because it's such a good deal. I don't want anyone to miss out if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, that was the hostess code. And then you can get any of these specialty papers. Now, the papers I'm going to be focusing on today is this one, number seven, soft shimmer combo paper pack because I used it on my card. And then number one is a holographic trio specialty paper. I think you need that if you are getting this set because you need to make the cans. So the aluminum foil in the cans. It comes in three different sheets. But see, this one's sort of, it's got a pattern in it. This one is just solid. And then this one is purple. Like, how fun is that? 
anyway i think you get is it three sheets yeah you get two of each sheet in a package and 20 percent off right now as well as these papers like, there's some great things super great things so this is the soft shimmer paper and again you get do, 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 five sheets you get one of each sheet of the sparkle paper oh this is brand new uh oh uh oh but like look how beautiful this paper is and it comes in lots of new in color or not lots of new colors so we have night of navy i'm assuming that's pretty peacock berry burst so beautiful yeah such a great deal you guys and grid paper has anybody watched my videos and wondered where i got these from they come in like a huge stack and they'll last you a long time but normally they're 18 dollars are also 20 percent off right now so i think they're around 13.50 gold foil sheets um yeah there's just so much so much but anyway take a look peruse the catalog anybody who places a 60 dollars order with me will get my 40 page pdf tutorial with me and a bunch of other demonstrators plus i've been putting a little other surprise present in there i don't want to say what it is yet but it's fun it's fun and then this is not on sale but does anybody buy kits i put these together while i was having coffee with my mom i asked if she would help and she's like no no my she didn't use that voice but look how cute these are. So I'm doing a craft show and I'm going to be selling some of these kits at the craft show. And then I'm also doing, I do a lot of private parties at Christmas. So I'm going to be going into a law firm and for their kind of Christmas party, they're going to make one of these cards and then another card kit that I'm cutting. So if anybody has uh, a Christmas party they need entertainment for, I'm happy to help out. But look how cute these are. The box just doesn't, do it justice like i would i would give these out in fact i may if i have any left over i love them so much and then you know if you live somewhere tropical it even comes with this sticker sheet right so if you live in arizona or somewhere warm because it's sure not edmonton we sure don't have cactuses in edmonton you know you could send this too and it's just super fun and it comes with your your uh, spot it comes with your block now this is not on sale but I just had to show you because I think it's great. And what a great Christmas gift for somebody, right? Or if you have kids home from school and you want to get them off of the TV, away from Netflix, see, even a stamp set, you can get them a craft kit. They're less than $30 and they make such great gifts. And there's a whole bunch of different ones, birthday cards. This is just the Christmas Everywhere kit that I love. And it comes with envelopes. So I just wanted to share that too. I'm starting to do all my Christmas shopping now. So I'm in the mood to, you know, start sharing that. Okay, are you guys ready to see what I'm doing with the Simply Sparkling set? Okay, first of all, you cannot find this in the catalog. This is an online exclusive. So Stamping Up has come out with some products. They're calling online exclusives because they want these products to be on trend they want them to be new stay around for you know three to four months and then they're gone and then they bring something else in so these are always well supplies last so if you go into the shopping uh the shopping area my shopping page you have to click on the side to click shop and then scroll down to online exclusives and you'll see the online exclusives there's a whole bunch of them this one is called simply sparkling it is $60.25 for the stamp set and the dies. I think you need both. And I love that this works with our mini stamping embossing machine. You don't need the big one. Um, although, I, I don't know. I think you need the big one too. But that's just personal preference. Anyway, that's what the dies look like. And then I thought, well, what does it look like when you stamp it? So I made this little cheat sheet. So these are all the greetings that you get in the stamp set. So what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's upside down. So that was ten. So ten stamped images, and you have sentiments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten uh, sentiments, and then that would be a, eleven, twelve would be the other 
the other images in the set. But I love this slightly sour friend, extra bubbly, simply sparkling, fizztastic, always refreshing, fizztastic birthday wishes, best ever pop. It could be a Father's Day card. It is so fun. And then seriously, the dies. So if you stamp your pop can, the dies will cut out your pop can. There is this little piece in the dies. It's a bit deceiving though, because I was like, what is this? So this piece here cuts out your lid. It cuts out the bottom of your can and it cuts out your little tab. And then it cuts out, oh, another piece cuts out this mystery piece, which I think will fit in here to maybe give some highlighting to your can, or maybe you can put some words on there as well. And then we have a bubble stamp, and then it cuts out the bubbles. We have strawberry, lemons or limes, oranges, limes, lemons, cherries, peaches. And then if you don't want to stamp and cut them out, they also come with these die cuts. Like, isn't this just great? I almost want to make a Pac-Man card where the ghost is munching, getting the cherries. I don't know. Just had an idea. And then it's got a straw and it's got this nice bubble accent piece as well. So you get a lot of dies in it. I think it's super fun. And while you're buying this stamp set, I highly recommend that you pick this up right now. It works with the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. It's actually in the back of the mini catalog and it's not rolling over. Okay, so when the um, the supply list comes out, I think next week and things are well supplies last. So if you're buying that, add this to your cart at the same time. And then maybe I might give you some new celebration paper when you order something from me. Maybe. Uh, what do we have? The Cheery Patterns Embossing Folder. It's only $11.75. This was a real hidden gem, and I'll show you why I think it goes so well with this in a second. And then you definitely need a package of this Holographic Trio Specialty Paper, which is on sale for the next three days. So grab this, grab that embossing folder, and you can do lots of fun cards. Or you can take my class. Um, if you order the bundle through me right now, um, you get your class for free, and then you can just tell me to add these on, and I'll bring them in for you. So that's easy peasy. But how cute, right? Okay, so let me quickly talk about, well, I guess I'll show you what this looks like. So this, so when you cut out the aluminum pieces, you can just do a regular smoky slate. This is what the holographic pieces look like. Can you see how shiny that is? Ooh, look at that right so cool and then i thought as well i want to stamp on this paper Ooh, can i find this paper it, it's like a pink foil because this is also in the mini catalog right now look at this wouldn't you love to give a pink soda can or green granny apple green soda can for somebody's birthday this almost looks like a coca-cola can if it was a little more red anyway so this is also uh, melon mambo granny apple green I, this will not be on special though because it's in the mini catalog not the annual catalog but still you could pick it up okay i'm going to set this aside because i don't want to lose it i'll show you the other cards i made with that and then i'm going to show you my wow card okay so this was the other version what do you think one's cherry one's lime which one do you like better and you know how I created this? This is a great tip. You take some saran wrap and you squish it up and you dip it in your ink pad and you go stamp, 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 stamp. Done. And then it fills in the side. Now I did use um, a stamp and blend along the edge here and I just kind of did the inside. But can you see the texture? How cool is that? so fun so anyway that's the other card i made at the on stage party that i held but i thought it was pretty fun and then this is one that i did on easy stamping one two three video last week i colored the can in with just some inks and my aqua painter not aqua painter sorry wink of stella i wasn't sure i liked it but i kind of do it turned out really cute okay and then today we're going to make a fancy fold I had a very cute fancy fold class 
Was it just last Sunday? I don't know. Time seems to be flying by. Let's put this over here. And we made this card. I got this first swap when I went to backstage this summer. Super fun. Like, look at this card. Oh, do you want to know how to make that? So the girls who've been to the bear class have a sample already, but I didn't show them how to cut it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to show them how to cut it because I did a PDF tutorial, but I think some cards are just easier to explain on a video. Okay, step one. Ooh, I didn't even show you this card. What do you think of this one? Cool, hey? There's the, there's the bubbles from this embossing folder. This is why you need it. Can you see the bubbles? Oh, look at the bubbles and more bubbles. Anyway, I'll talk about this in a second, but I think this card is gorgeous. I think this will be one card that we make at the class. What I do is kind of design cards and then I have to live with it for a while and see what I like. Okay, so you are going to start with a card that is four and a quarter by 11 inches and you're going to score it in half. You like them both, Kathy? Thanks. Joanne, hello. How are you today? You know what I love right now, you guys? It is November 14th and it's sunny with no snow in Edmonton. That makes me so happy. Okay, this is what we need to do. We need to make some pencil tick marks. So first of all, we need to find the center of our card base which is going to be two and one eighth of an inch. So I'm going to put this in my paper trimmer, two and one eighth. So this is two and a quarter. This is two. So one eighth is like the middle longest line, not the super short ones. Okay, I'm making a pencil tick mark. Then I need to make a tick mark at two and three quarters on this side. So let's rotate it counter. No, nope, let's rotate it. I guess that'd be clockwise. And then we're going to make a tick mark at two and three quarters, but I'm ticking at the top. I'm ticking at the bottom. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score from the center tick mark to the side on both sides. And then from the center tick mark down to the bottom corner on both sides. And that's the card. That's as easy as it is. So easy. Yeah, so the people who took my bare fancy fold class, I've got the PDF instructions done now. So I can send that out to you if you want it. Let me know. I love that very Christmas fancy fold class. It was lots of fun. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? So I've got, oh, well, not really. I've got a score line here and a score line here. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to the middle point down to the bottom corner. And it should be fairly close, I think. And I'm going through it a couple times because I'm going through two layers of cardstock. Now I'm going to go through the center point at the top to that two and three order <laughs> order two and three quarter inch tick mark on the side of my card. Okay, and that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, let's just go over these lines. And a bone folder usually helps. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth. You know, I had to get one with my name in case I forgot my name. I was up at midnight placing orders for people last night just so they could get their, get their good stuff. So I'm, I'm a little tired today. Okay, now what's going to happen with this card is I will decorate it first, but I think I'll show you. It goes like this. So this, uh, the score line closest to the center is a mountain fold. And then the next shortest one is a valley. This is a mountain. And then this one is a valley. Can you see how that works? Pretty cool, hey? To them, and then we do the same thing on the back. Mountain, valley. And then you just go over your score lines, and it's as easy as that. How fun. It almost looks like a little angel to me. I almost feel like putting a head on here, and this could be the wings. I don't know. Pretty cool. Now, that doesn't work very well and doesn't look very pretty. So I'll show you how to make a patch piece. 
but I'm not going to glue it together yet because I want to glue the paper down and I'll show you how to cut that in a second. So this is the inside piece. It is, uh, da, da, da. it is three inches by four and a quarter. You score it on the short side at half an inch, one and a half inch and two and a half inches. So we're putting the three inch side along the top and we're scoring it at half an inch, one and a half inches and two and a half inches. Yay. Isn't that easy? This is such an easy card, you guys. It looks hard, but it's not. Now I had to figure out how to get this nice little angle in here. So the best way I figured out how to do it was you want to put a tick mark three three quarters of an inch from the right hand side and then three quarters of an inch from the last left hand side so use this side of your ruler go to three quarters of an inch make a tick and then go this side three quarters of an inch make a tick mark and then you want to fold these tabs up like this and then we're going to cut from the point to your tick mark Oh, I missed it, but you know what? I don't think it'll really matter. Close enough. Nobody's going to see this piece. Ta-da! Wasn't that easy? Okay, I should have picked a harder card for you guys today. You're probably thinking, yeah, this is probably the easiest one yet. You have to use a ruler and a, and a pencil, but, you know, otherwise it's not too bad. Now, let me just set this aside because I want to cut this piece first. And I've gone ahead and done a little bit of prep work. Now, I thought for this simply sparkling card, I wanted something that looked like bubbles. So I picked this pattern, but you know what? This looks like a baby blanket to me. So I didn't like this. So instead, I used this embossing folder in the mini catalog called Cheery Patterns Embossing Folder. Now, the only problem is, is that it's short and I need a piece of paper that is four inches by five and a quarter. See how it's a little short? So I embossed one side and then I opened the folder up and then I embossed it again. And, you know, it doesn't quite line up, but I don't think anybody's going to notice. So then I put it back a second time. Maybe I went like this. There. There. And then I embossed it a second time so that you get some bubbles on each side. Now this, it's not totally uniform, but I'm okay with that. And then I also did this piece because I need um, some bubbles for the top of the card too. Okay, now I said this has to be four inches by five and a quarter. Four inches. Four inches by five and a quarter. Let's cut that down and we need to make a triangle. So I think I put a tick mark here at two inches. And if I'm wrong, well, I'll just get more paper. Okay, and I'm cutting from the tick mark down to the bottom corner because I need a triangular piece. Okay, that's just scrap now. And then let's do the same thing from the tick mark down to the bottom corner. I was going to flip my paper around, but then the video gets confusing. Okay, there we go. Now this should fit. No guarantees though. Let's see, does it fit? Wish me luck. If it doesn't, we'll just start again. Oh, perfect. Look how great that is, right? Now, how are we going to decorate these side panels? What kind of triangle is this? Well, I use my template and I said the triangle is one and seven eighths by two and a half. Okay, so two and a half by one and seven eighths. So we have one and three quarters, we have two, and then the line one and three quarters, which is here, that's two. So the line in between should be one and seven eighths. Okay, and then we're just going to cut this in half and that'll give me two triangles. Now, wait a second, I want the embossed side out. So if I'm cutting this, yep, that'll be right. 
it doesn't matter if I have the embossed or the de-embossed side, but I just want it to match my other triangle. See? Look, ta-da! Fits that triangle and it fits. Oh, that one's reversed. So you could do two of these if you want, right? Because once you flip it, it's de-embossed embossed. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I think someone is going to get this card and they're going to go, Oh, how did you make this card? It's so fun, super cool, right? I think it's all good. Okay, what do you guys think? You're probably sleeping. Did I put everybody to sleep? Yeah, maybe I did. You can just fast forward this video. But for people who want to stamp along with me, I didn't, I'm not going too fast today. Not at all. Yeah, I love making cards. And there's nothing I love more than stamping with my friends. So I stamp here in Edmonton at Bogani Cafe on the second Wednesday of the month. It's open to everybody. You just have to let me know you want a kit. You can give it a try. They got great coffee, great desserts. But you know the thing I like the best is they're really nice. Um, the owners are nice. Uh, the servers are nice. The food is great. It's not overly loud, so you can actually talk and have a conversation. And it's on 23rd Ave, so not too far from me. Okay, what do you guys think? Pretty good, hey? Oh, isn't that fun? I'm pretty excited anyway. Okay, let's finish this card so you guys can get on with your day. Now, to put this together, I am just going to slip it in, but I think I might use, you can use tear and tape adhesive or liquid adhesive. I'll use tear and tape adhesive just because it's faster. Wow, I'm really getting lots of shadows today. Sorry, guys. It's the Alberta sun. I don't want to complain because then it's going to go away and then it's be gloomy. I don't mind the cold, but I love the sunshine. So I'm okay as long as it's cold, as long as it's bright and the sky is blue and there's white fluffy clouds. But don't give me gray and gloomy and rainy. Okay, so oh, I probably should have used the liquid glue because it gives me wiggle room. Okay, let's attach this. This is a lot harder when you use this tear and tape adhesive. Okay, so I did the one side. Can you see where I attached it? At the back. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Ooh, ooh. This is tricky. Okay, I'm off a little bit, but you know, not too bad. I can live with that. Okay, and then what happens is it closes like this. It will fit in a regular sized envelope. Okay, isn't that easy? So that is my fancy fold card for today. And we'll just set this aside. And then we'll do some stamping. So what I want to do is I've already die cut this from Daffodil Delight cardstock. I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake. Now I should be using my embossing buddy. I don't know where it is right now. How dark is this going to be? Wish me luck. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm a little off, but I'm still good with that. I probably should have stamped it first and then die cut it. Now I'm going to put a little swoosh in here, but I don't want it to be so dark. So let's stamp it off on paper first, and then it'll be a little bit lighter. Ooh, see, it's like, oh, this is just so fun. It's like a little trail of bubbles little effervescent burst of, I don't know, bubbles maybe? Okay, you now what should we stamp on here? I think best ever, but because I've got a dark colored cardstock, let's stamp it with Versamark ink and emboss it in white. Now, I probably should have let that dry, the other ink dry, because now my um, oh, white embossing powder may stick to it. This could be a mistake. Oh, I don't know where my, um, I don't know where my spoon is. Maybe Otto stole my spoon. He's been a very good boy today. I did have to walk him, but he's been really funny. When he's hungry, he brings me his dog dish now for food. It's pretty funny. He is such a character. Okay, see how I have this big mess? Because now it's embossing the swirl. 
behind it. Okay, and we'll just kind of scratch that off a bit. I think this will pop though. So I should have used an embossing buddy on it before I did my best ever. That's what happens when you try to rush. Okay, let's go like this now. We're just going to use our heat tool. So I usually set it off to the side and heat it up. You can emboss it from the back as well instead of the front. I guess emboss from the bottom or the top? Kind of an embosser. There it goes. Can you see it changing color? There we go. Okay, and I need a couple birthday cards, so I don't know who this is for yet. So I think I'm going to leave it because it has best ever. If I was giving it to my dad, I could put pop, best ever friend, uh, your best ever, right? You could do your fizztastic, your extra bubbly. I think that would be mine. I'm pretty bubbly most times. Okay, now that looks super cute, but don't you think that we need some of this holographic paper on here? I think so. Let's shake out my pieces. So I have a lid that goes like this. Like that. Okay, let's just use my liquid glue. And then I'll put this on the card and then I'm almost done. I'm going over my 30 minutes, you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. And this also has a little space in here. It's got an automatic natural cut line in it, so you can put your straw in there if you want. Oh, I see I did not put enough adhesive down. You can always use adhesive, uh, the adhesive sheets when you do your die cutting, and it just turns things into stickers. Okay, that made a bit of a gluey mess, but that's okay. The way to remove um, adhesive is a hand sanitizer. So I'll just hand sanitize my hands after and I'll be good to go. Okay, let's put this here. And then I need a tab. I think this is the holographic tab. Holographic paper. Okay, this is a little tricky for sure. I think it's okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Ta-da! Done! What do you think? Super cute? Okay. So we're going to put best ever on here. Because I don't know. Best ever what? Friend. I'll put that on after. Sometimes when I make a card, I like to think about it. Oh, this slipped. There we go. And let's get some dimensionals. Um, I highly recommend to take your pick tool. If you need a stocking stuffer, take your pick tools are amazing. Okay, and then we'll put this down here. And then I think we need something to make it pop. Right? That's pretty cool. Can you see the bubbles? And I've already die cut one of these little cherries. Okay, how cute is that? Right? Okay, let's just put some little dabs of glue. And it even punches out the seeds and everything. I guess it die cuts it, right? Okay, so let's put that down here. And then I would just write my sentiment on the back. You could, you know, put happy birthday. Here's the sentiments. You're so delightful. Isn't that fun? Pretty fun. And then, like I said, you can make another two cards that look like this, right? Birthday wishes, your fizztastic, cherries, limes. And I think this is my favorite card, though. I think I want to do some bubbles. So what I did with this one is I stamped the bubbles with Versamark ink on vellum cardstock, embossed it, and then cut it out with the embossing folder. But when you look at this, look at how much texture that gives. So I think I'm going to be adding some bubbles around my card, and that will really make it pop. But yeah, what do you think of this fancy fold? Pretty fun, right? So that's my demonstration today. I hope you've liked the cards. I hope I have inspired you to buy this set sign up for the class with me. I can do it virtually so you can stamp anywhere in the country. 
there you go and then if you live out of town and you want a pdf tutorial i'm allowed to sell pdf tutorials and i can sell that that can go anywhere and then where, where was the last part that i had done so i haven't played with this set that much what do you think thumbs up thumbs down thumbs sideways hello helen how are you you like that sandra that is a fun fancy fold isn't it yeah i think it's a really fun stamp set just because it's so versatile and could be for any age betty do you like the cards thank you uh joanne likes the turquoise can card yeah i think it's beautiful too joanne i think it's super fun super super fun okay guys i want to thank you so much for joining me today make sure you take advantage of that sale at least go into the cart and um you can see what's on special because there are some really really great deals right now and I hope you guys have fun and you can join me with the for easy stamping one, two, three at 7.30 tomorrow night. At least I'm pretty sure it'll be 7.30 tomorrow night. And I have a craft show in Edmonton at the Scars, which is a second chance animal rescue society. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So I better get stamping some stuff for that sale. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye. Thanks for watching. And please like or subscribe to the page. Bye.